Hey, hey, what's going on? We get here working class fitness.com and today we're gonna talk all, all about how a really strong cop completely failed his workout. I'm all right. Nobody but about me. Try the circuit. That's exactly what I told the guy. See, I was at the gym last week and a guy I see now and then was there. Younger kid, early twenties I think. Big dude too. I think at least six four, six five, weighs three forty, three fifty, strong as hell. But he's still way overweight though. Now if you trim down to 265 or 275, he'd be an absolute monster. Anyway, he started poking fun at me. Asked me why I'm always doing that PE class shit, as he calls it. He was talking about the jumps, skiers, and jumping jacks I'm always doing. I told him it was so that I can be good at a lot of things. That I wanted to be strong, but I just hate the thought of ever getting tired. And when you stack stuff together the right way, strength work, explosive exercises, active rest, and all that, well, you just don't get tired. Yet, you're still strong as hell, and fast, and have good cardio, and, well, you get the idea. He's always wearing police t-shirts, so I knew he was a cop. Asked him how often he sees guys gas during training drills and such. He said quite a bit. I asked him how often he gassed. Well, he just changed the subject. Just started going on about wanting to be strong as hell. So I challenged him. Told him, try this circuit. Let's see how much of your strength you can really use. He was doing back, so I invited him to work in with me on a circuit. Dumbbell rows for 8 reps each side, a set of 10 bench jumps, and then skiers for 50 reps. Then we'd rest and do it over again you know, for 3 or 4 rounds. I went on to use an 85 pound dumbbell for rows. He laughed at me and grabbed a monster 120 pounder. He was gasping for air by the end of that first round. By the end of the second round, his face was fire engine red. By the end of the third round, he couldn't use that big 120 pound dumbbell anymore. He was too tired and didn't have the strength left. He dropped down to a 95 and still barely managed 6 reps. Yet there I was, still pulling my 85 pounder as hard as I was during my first set. Not to mention all the jumps and skiers we were doing. And did I mention this guy weighs nearly twice what I do? Not so strong anymore, are you? I said. Strength does you no good if you're too gassed to use it. He just sat on a bench trying to catch his breath in between hurling curse words at me. But he got the point. Being strong as hell is awesome, but if your strength fades as soon as you start sucking wind, well, then it's useless. Now, if you want to be strong all the time, as well as fast, have great cardio, and not gas out, then, well, you got to get on the right program. I can teach you everything you need to know. You see that big blue button in the middle of your screen? Go ahead and click on that. Now, if clicking on that doesn't work, there will be a link to the side of the video or below the video or somewhere around here. Either way, click on that, enter in your email address. I will send you the very first workout for my Killer MMA Workouts program. This is the system that pro fighters, amateur fighters, and regular guys literally from all over the world are using to get in fighting shape. At the same time, I'll send you a list of 17 of the best exercises for MMA so that you know you're using all the right exercises and movements every time you go to the gym. Click that link, enter in your email address, and we'll talk to you in the next video. Train hard, rest hard, play hard. I'm all right. Nobody but about